All right, well, you may want to have a little nip to warm up. We're not the only ones dealing with extreme cold. New England is gearing up for yet another blizzard. ABC's Marcy Gonzalez takes a look at what's in store from this latest winter blast. This Valentine's Day weekend, they are not feeling the love in New England with yet another winter storm heading their way. It is getting a little out of control. Some areas bracing for nearly another foot of snow on top of the record-breaking six feet that fell just over the past three weeks. The National Guard stepping in to help haul it away before this next blizzard moves in. But this snow is not stopping right now, so I ask everyone to please uh, be patient. The storm could also bring hurricane-force winds to coastal areas of Massachusetts that flooded during the last blizzard. I'm a little bit nervous. We, we have some damage here and the next storm will definitely be worse. It'll be worse temperature-wise too. While it is frigid today with freeze warnings and watches in effect from the northeast all the way down to Florida, for many it is only going to get worse. The coldest air of the season is expected to move through after the storm and with sub-zero temperatures in the forecast, this weekend gloves and hats might replace roses as the gifts that best say I love you. And it's hard for a lot of people to imagine it getting much colder than this. But by Monday, New York City could have its lowest temperatures in 20 years. In New York, Marcy Gonzalez, ABC 7 News.